Victoire. Victoire. Bondulier. Bondulier. Victoire. <rire> Hi everybody, this is Audrey, also known as Noblestrom, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about handbags. I'm going to be showing you some purses that I have purchased that I think are nice alternatives to some Louis Vuitton bags that I've had my eye on for quite a while because I truly, I'm going to be honest with you, cannot afford Louis Vuitton. Now I do own one, but it was not purchased brand new. It was purchased um, secondhand through Poshmark and I used some of my credits to purchase that Louis Vuitton, but I cannot afford to just go into the Louis Vuitton store and just buy me a bag. And the reason why I say I cannot afford it is because I don't want to just charge a bag just so I can keep up with, you know, the it thing or creating an image or just having a certain name. I'm not into just having designer names for the sake of having a designer name. The bags that I've been drawn to are purely because of their design quality. And so I feel like I've found some nice alternatives in some other brands and I'm going to be sharing those with you today. In this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about the alternatives to luxury bags, as well as my thoughts on um, knockoff bags, or as I could say, um, what's the official term, um, replica bags. So you're going to be hearing my thoughts about that. And so we're just going to have to be having a nice discussion. And I want this video to be informative as well as uh, encouraging and educational. So yes, Louis Vuitton has some really beautiful designs in their collection because they can hire some of the top designers around the world. So it just makes sense that they would have some eye-catching pieces. But I feel like... Um, a lot of people try to live outside of their means. They charge things that they shouldn't charge. You know, their priorities are out of whack. And I want to promote, you know, being good stewards of your finances. So that's really what this video is about. Um, one tip that I have is if you're going to purchase a bag, try not to purchase a bag where the cost exceeds 10% of your monthly income. So say if, for instance, your monthly um, net income is $5,000, then don't spend more than $500 on a handbag. I mean, that's reasonable. It's something you could pay cash for and charge and not, have, I mean, and not charge and have to worry about paying later. But no judgment to those of you who do. This is just my personal opinion. But let's just jump right into these comparison bags. So the first bag that I thought would be a nice alternative to the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bendelier bag, uh, the Speedy Bendelier 25, is this uh, Barney's New York duffel bag. Now I found mine at the Goodwill for $24, brand spanking new, with tags, original stuffing, silica packets, all original wrapping, that's usually unheard of, but you know, I seem to have favor when it comes to shopping, but I really love this bag. I've had it for over a year and I've carried this bag more than any other bag that I have in my collection and it has worn very well within the last year and it's comparable in size to the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 and I'll leave a split screen so you can see the price comparison but originally the Barney's uh, New York bag retailed for like $250 it was marked down to like $148 and then like $139 something like that and like I said I got mine for $24 but it's great it has an outer zipper pocket removable straps it's very roomy on the inside and it's a good quality leather it may not be the quality leather of the uh, louis vuitton bags but it is a good quality and it will you know serve its purpose so i like this bag all right next bag i want to talk about is the louis vuitton my lock me bag now they're my lock me bag i like the design of that bag and i think i found a nice alternative bag with the bakir um, cobble heel crossbody. So this is the cobble heel crossbody, and it's in Stefano leather. 
um, and it's just really a nice mini bag but very roomy and as you can see in the split screen it does have a similar design to the My Lock Me bag by LV. Uh, it has the top handle, the removable strap, and it has the little hang um, medallion here. It opens like this. is very roomy. It has the accordion style opening, but I love this bag. I paid $1.98 for this bag as opposed to the LV price. So I think that's a very good compromise. And I'm staying within my budget, and so I love that. All right, now the next bag is a bag that I think is a nice alternative to the Louis Vuitton Victoire bag, or as I said, Victoire, but the Victoire. So this is the Coach Parker bag, and I think this is an awesome, awesome alternative to that bag. Um, I love the design quality. Like the Victoire bag, it does have the snakeskin uh, detailing, except I think on the Victoire, it has the snakeskin detailing here. As you can see in the split screen, it does have a chain strap. This is a nice quality leather that Coach has, and I like the design the detailing of the T-Rose, so it does have some really great design qualities. Very elegant bag, and I get a lot of compliments when I carry this bag. And my husband got it and he paid $450 plus tax. Very nice, uh, considerable uh, difference in price and within my budget. So got that one. And then the last bag that I must talk about, I've had my eye on the Louis Vuitton Artsy MM for quite some time in the Umfront leather, which means it is imprinted with the LV into the leather. So it's a more subtle look as opposed to that uh, you know, standard classic signature LV bag that everybody and their mama has. Now, there's no denying that the design of the Artsy is a beautiful design. It's just classic in its silhouette and its shape. As you can see in the split screen here, and I'm gonna show you um, my um, bag that I have that I found at Ross. This is the Alessandro, I think it's, uh, yes, Alessandro Mari or Alessandro Mari bag but what I loved about the artsy is that beautiful handle and as you can see this bag also has a similar style stitching on this is all leather genuine leather it does have the little hang tag like the artsy uh, this is a pebbled type leather it does have the feet on the bottom and it's a hobo style just like the artsy very very similar as you can see but a fraction of the cost the leather smells heavenly now the only big huge difference uh, does not have the uh, metal insert here where the little loop goes into but other than that i think it's very much dead on in design so i got what i was looking for out of the bag because i was truly only wanting the artsy because of the shape and design and structure of the bag and now i have it i paid 99 dollars plus tax for this bag as opposed to i think over three thousand for the actual artsy um, prompt leather, but another nice alternative. So all I'm saying guys is rather than, you know, spend a whole bunch of money on something that you truly can't afford, then find some alternatives to those bags. They're out there. You just have to look. And my tip once again is to not spend more than 10% of your monthly income on a bag. You will save yourself a lot of stress on a uh, you're accumulating bills if you do that. So if I would have purchased all four of the LV bags that I liked, I would have paid $12,060, which would be an awesome down payment on a car. But instead, the retail price of the total alternatives only came to $997, which is fabulous. Such an awesome difference. So I hope you can see how you can save yourself some money by looking for some quality alternatives to the luxury bags that you may have your eye on. Let me know your thoughts um, below on, what your thoughts on buying replica bags. My thoughts are, personally, I don't wanna buy a replica bag for a, a several reasons. Number one, as an artist, 
if I just put my hard earned time and mental energy into designing a bag, I wouldn't want someone to mass produce it and then sell it as, you know, being a actual, you know, design that I had created. Um, now, if you're doing an Inspire bag, that's something totally different because it's not actually trying to duplicate everything about that bag. It's almost as if, you know, you're trying to perpetrate or, you know, come off as saying, I actually have the, you know, the actual designer. Um, I don't want to perpetrate that I can afford something that I can't. I'll just be honest. I can't just go into a Louis, in Louis Vuitton store and purchase a bag. I could save up several months and go in and get a bag. But I mean, just going out and buying one, I could not do. So anyway, uh, another reason why is because it's illegal. And... Um, Another reason why is because I think it just takes away from the integrity of the actual, des uh, you know, designer bag. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. No judgment on anyone. This is a peaceful, loving community here. But I just wanted to share my alternatives with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, as always, to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.